Oh, then. In this brief video, we're going to try and look at um, changing certs into various forms. Uh, the most simple type to do are where you're given this type of question. For instance, write the CERD with 50 in the form of A root 2. Now, what that means is we've got to write 50 as some product of 2. Now, 50 is the same as 25 times 2. So root 50 must be the same as root 25 times 2. Now, as you may have learned, or should have learned, you can decompose that single root 25 times 2 as root 25 times root 2. Root 25 simplifies as 5. And 5 times root 2 can be written as, like with algebra, we just the time sign, 5 root 2. So in this instance, a number in proof, um, in proof in front of root 2 is 5. Let's look at another example of that. Here we go. We're going to write root 108 as some multiple of root 3. Now the clue is, it tells us we want root 3 in our answer. So I'm going to write 108 as something times 3. Well, if your arithmetic is good, and you can divide 108 by 3. If your arithmetic is not good, then use long division. 3 into 1 goes 0, remainder 1. 3 into 10 goes 3, remainder 1. And 3 into 18 goes 6. So 108 is the same as 36 times 3. Then we decompose it, so that's the same as root 36 times root 3. 36 is the square number, so the square root of 36 is 6. So the left hand side is 6 times root 3, equal to 6 root 3. So in this instance, a is 6. Now, the, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. the harder example are where they don't tell you what root it is. Here, let's have a look. Root 28. That's got to be written in the form of A root B. Now, what we do here is we have to think of what is the highest or largest square number. Just a reminder, some people can get these square numbers in 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, etc. What's the largest square number that's a factor of 28? 5 and 28. And the answer is 4. So we divide 28 by 4, I get 7. So 28 is the same as 4 times 7. Now I decompose it. Square root of 4 times 7 is the square root of 4. Sorry, it's the root of 4 times the root of 7. That's the square number. So I can write that as 2. The square root of 4 is 2 times root of 7. And it's a 2 root of 7. So in this instance, A, 2, and B is 7. Let's go through that once more. Did that again, didn't I? We want to write root 80 and a root 3. Now, what's the largest square number that's a factor of 80? Well, the answer is 16. So 80 can be written as 16 times, right, decompose it, that's the square root of 16 times the square root of 5. That's the square number, the square root of 16 is 5. So the square root of 80 is 4 times root 5, 4, 4, root 5. So in this instance, A is 4, and B is 5. Okay, thank you for listening.